Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing some Men of War Call to Arms Gates of Hell. Now, you may be wondering, why am I not doing the German camp? We are doing a full reset with a brand new person. We are doing the hardest difficulty, hardcore, but with a twist, friendly fire and fog of war. Deadly combination. But let's get right into the video and let me show you how to do this mission as quick as you can and as solid as you can with my buddy Willow here. So to start off the mission, obviously after this cutscene, you want to go straight into moving your units to that right side of the map. Because if you didn't notice, you are being shelled from above just by MGs. You're basically just, you're a sitting duck, essentially. And your main goal is you need to get your lovely, lovely sniper off the get-go to start taking out some Germans. So once you clear all the machine gun nest and all the Germans that are basically sniping you from death, you do what Willow is doing here and then you slowly, slowly go up with your sniper or you can go up with all your units and kind of gamble it, but kind of throw up some smokes and try to get to this left side bunker over here. You want to try to have a good spot where you're able to move up and then kill the machine gun nest that's on the opposite side of the map that's a... Uh, Hopefully not going to kill your sniper. You know, if you're doing a co-op, uh, good luck. If you're doing it single player, you always have that save feature. So definitely want to kill that machine gun to move on. So once you get up there and you fully clear the trenches like so, you're able to now, with your sniper, slowly move up towards the opposite side of the map, towards the machine guns, and slowly try taking those guys out while if you're up for the task if you're doing single player or co-op you have someone or you spend the time getting all of the machine guns from the boat on the shore because they have multiple machine guns that may be able to help you out in the end if not just keep going keep sniping and keep moving forward so once you start moving up and you start moving your troops up this machine gun nest will just keep getting remanned just keep killing them with your sniper or whoever you're manualing, grenade, whatever, until you fully kill them so you can move on to the next area. All right, you did. You very dead. How many more times do I need to make you very dead? I don't know. Once you kill all of them, the cutscene will start and then you will be able to move on to the next part with the mortars. Once you hit the cutscene, you're gonna do some quick headshots like Willow here, getting these double kill nicely done. And then from there, you just start attempting to move up your infantry while using that mortar support. And then end up obviously using your artillery on that AA flak. That AA flak is going to be a brutal, brutal, you know, incident. So hit that artillery, use that artillery, and watch the artillery just fly and watch those explosions. Once you had your fun watching the spectacle of the artillery barrage, hopefully you got multiple kills, you want to start moving up your mortars towards this little position here where you move up your infantry. You want to start trying to shell that AA flak. Hopefully it is disabled by the artillery. If it is not, start barraging and start using that ability ground fire. Just start making sure you take it out. And then from there, you're going to have a very great position to just take out all the Germans around you and start taking position to position, slowly moving up. You're going to want to take out the mortar on the left side primarily. That will stop your advancing. So by doing so, you need to move up your mortars and the ammo boxes to keep ammunition. Keep it going as it runs out quickly. So start moving up. Destroy the mortar as soon as you can. Then from there, use sniper as vision if you're using fog of war. Then from there, start moving up middle right side. Start taking a, a full control of the area. Really taking out the Germans so you can keep moving up. 
once you start getting into the middle part of the map, as you keep moving further inland, you need to spread out, use your mortars to assist, and start getting ready to kill the rest of the Germans to move on to the next part of the mission. But to do so, you need to take the right side bunker, which is very easy if you take it slow. And how you do that is you just slowly move up your infantry, and you just kind of wait for the Germans to come out. Once you kill the Germans around the outside, it's kind of just wait for it right at the door. And then, once you kill those Germans, you're pretty much done with that first part of the mission. Artillery's done. Artillery complete. Then from there, you move on to your mortars. You're going to start moving your mortars towards the Sherman van, which will give you the most amount of ammo possible. Then from there, you want to start just moving up this left side. Go towards the left side bunker, because the right side of the map is... There's nothing. It's free brain. There's just Germans and you have a sniper that will be able to support you all the way to give you line of sight. Unless you're not playing on Fog of War. At this point, there's a couple things you can do now. If you want to go to the conservative right to help you out, you go grab MG42. And there's a lot of MG42s you can grab. If not, keep moving on. But the most likely suggestion I can give you is at least get this light blue truck or whatever color it will be in your campaign and get the 20 millimeter flak that will assist you so much in the next part of the mission your goal now is to get to the artillery you want to move up the right side first with more support to get all the mgs out of the way and then move up the middle if you can move up on both sides and you have enough micromanagement do so it is easy to take out all the Germans as long as you have the firepower and that mortar support. As long as you have that mortar support, you'll be golden. As you start moving up and you have that mortar support, it will become super easy until you get up to the artillery. Once you get up to the artillery, you just start half taking them out one by one. And make sure to always use that sniper for that vision unless you don't have fog of war. reach a point where it becomes super easy as long as you have that mortar support. Once you get to around this hill area, it really just becomes a cakewalk. It's about just moving up your troops, make sure you kill the MGs with the mortars, and then just start destroying the artillery and prepare yourself for the final part of the mission, the defense part. Now, I have a suggestion. My suggestion is prepare yourself before the countdown. Once you destroy the artillery positions, the defense part of the mission begins. We decided to prepare ourselves Ready, way sir. before the timer, so we did not destroy all the artillery positions. But it is all up to you. Also, a recommendation, the AA flag. We put it on the left side next to the little building that we're supposed to put on the defense. But once you get that going and you destroy all the artillery, we begin the defense part of the mission. If you haven't already, I would suggest moving all your mortars and ammunition boxes. Every single one there should be four in total, if nothing broke along the way, to support you. And then from there, enjoy the absolute havoc of the mission. If you have mines, they help a lot. If you have AP mines, they also help a lot. But other than that, survive the day, survive the night, and enjoy the rest of the video of our progress through the night time. Ready, sir.
and that's gonna be all folks ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for watching the first mission on the usa campaign guide we're gonna be keeping releasing as the content goes out for the next few missions i hope you guys enjoyed really tried to put as much work as i can to explain it as thoroughly and as fast as possible so please like and subscribe hit that bell icon comment down below if you want more of these guides trying to pull as many as we can for this hardcore difficulty on fog of war and the funny friendly fire see you guys then for the next video bye bye